Hi everyone, welcome to my channel The Excel Experience. In this video, I'll be sharing 10 super handy Excel tricks to make your work easier. Let's get started. I have this list of numbers that need to be converted into percentages. If I select them all and in Home tab, go to Number Group and click on Percentage, it will convert numbers into percentage, but it doesn't quite deliver the desired outcome. Instead of seeing percentages like 75%, 40%, we end up with 7,500%, 4,000%, and so forth. Now, let's walk through the simple process of converting these numbers into percentages. I'll demonstrate exactly how to do it step by step. We can do it by using Paste Special. In a blank cell, I'll just write 1% and press Enter. Now, I'll copy it and then select this list, right-click and select Paste Special, and then click on Multiply and press OK. And as you can see we have all these numbers converted into percentage. Isn't it very easy? Moving to our next trick. As you might be already knowing that if you want to copy the format of one cell in another, simply select the cell with the desired format, click on the Format Painter button, and then click on the cell where you want to apply the same formatting. But, if you want to copy it in multiple cells, repeatedly selecting the Format Painter for each cell might become tedious. So we will just select the cell and double-click on Format Painter button and then proceed to apply the formatting to multiple cells as needed. To stop formatting, just press the Escape key on your keyboard. Moving ahead. Here's a time-saving trick for you. Imagine, you have information like name, age, country, and interest all in one line, but you need them separated onto different lines within the same cell. If I start doing this manually, it will consume my lot of time. So let me show you how we can do this with just few clicks. Select the data and press Ctrl plus H key. This opens Find and Replace dialog box. Now we will replace this commas with line break. In the Find field, enter a comma. For the replace field, we want a line break. Since we can't type a line break directly, we'll press Ctrl plus J, which displays a blinking dot. Then, click on Replace All, and just like that, all the commas will be replaced with line breaks. Moving ahead. Ever needed to change the orientation of text in Excel? I'll show you a quick and easy way to do that. Let's say you have a cell containing text, and you want to change its orientation for better readability or formatting purposes. It's a common need, especially when working with headers or labels in your spreadsheet. First, select the cell or range of cells containing the text you want to modify. Then, navigate to the home. Look for the Alignment group, where you'll find the Orientation option. Click on Orientation, and a drop-down menu will appear with various text orientation choices. You can select from options like angle counterclockwise, vertical text, rotate text up. Simply select the desired orientation and watch as your text transforms. Moving ahead. Centering text across multiple cells in Excel. This trick not only enhances the appearance of your spreadsheets, but also improves their functionality. Let's say you have data where you need to display names spanning across multiple columns. Traditionally, you might merge cells to achieve this, but merging cells can cause issues with formatting and also limits your ability to sort and filter data effectively. That's where Center Across Selection comes in. It allows you to visually center your text across multiple cells without actually merging them. First, select the range of cells where you want your text to be centered. Go to Home tab and in the Alignment group, click on this arrow button and it will open other options, and you'll find an option called Horizontal. Click on the drop-down menu next to it and choose Center Across Selection. Press Enter. And just like that, your text is now centered across the selected range of cells. Moving to our next trick. Assigning names to cells or ranges in Excel allows for the use of meaningful identifiers, making formulas and functions more understandable and easier to manage. Let's illustrate this with an example. We have this data set with columns for revenue and expenses. If we want to calculate profit, we could simply subtract expenses from revenue using cell references. 
there is nothing wrong in this. However, this may not clearly convey how profit is calculated. Alternatively, we can assign names to the revenue and expense columns. To do this, we select the respective ranges, navigate to the Formula tab, and click on Define Name. We then enter descriptive names for each range. Now, when calculating profit, instead of using cell references, we can use the named ranges. This not only enhances clarity but also simplifies formula maintenance and it will automatically calculates for the cells below. This way, selecting any cell reveals the formula revenue minus expense, providing a clear understanding of how profit is derived. Moving ahead. These tools are incredibly handy for a variety of applications, from scientific notations to mathematical equations. Superscript is used when you need to raise text above the normal line, such as in exponents or ordinal numbers. To apply superscript in Excel, select the text you want to format, then go to the Home tab. In the font group, click on this arrow and select Superscript. And your text will instantly become superscript. Subscript is the opposite of superscript, used to lower text below the normal line. This is commonly seen in chemical formulas or subscript numbers. To apply subscript in Excel, select the text you want to format, then go to the Home tab. In the font group, click on this arrow and select Subscript and your text will be formatted as Subscript. Moving to our next tip. This tip is about how to calculate running total. Running totals, also known as cumulative totals, show the sum of values as they accumulate over time or across a range. Suppose we have data showing quantities sold each month and we want to calculate the running total of quantities sold. Simply select the range of data you want to analyze, and then click on the Quick Analysis button that appears in the bottom right corner. From the options that pop up, select Totals, and then choose Running Total. Excel will instantly calculate the running totals for your data and display them in a new column. Next tip is Freeze Panes in Excel. Freeze Panes in Excel is a feature that allows you to lock specific rows or columns in place while scrolling through your spreadsheet. To freeze panes in Excel, first, select the cell below the row you want to freeze, or to the right of the column you want to freeze. Then, navigate to the View tab on the ribbon and click on the Freeze Panes drop-down menu. From here, you can select Freeze Panes to freeze the selected row or column. Now, last but not the least. This powerful formula enables you to sum up values across multiple worksheets within the same workbook, saving you time and effort. Imagine you want to calculate the total sales for different products across different months, with each month's data stored on a separate worksheet. Typically, you'd sum up each month's sales separately, which can be quite tedious. But fear not, for we have the supercharged 3D sum formula to the rescue. Here's how it works. Start by typing the sum formula as usual. Click on the first sheet containing the data you want to include in the total. Select the cell you want to add to the total. Press and hold the Shift key. Click on the last sheet containing the data. Release the Shift key. Excel will automatically select all the sheets between the first and last sheets, ensuring that all relevant data is included in the total. Simply press Enter, and you'll have your total value. If you add a new worksheet in between, Excel will dynamically update the total to include the new data. Thanks for watching till the end. Comment down which Excel trick was your favorite. And also consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.